welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, welcome. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before we get started, go ahead and do me a favor. Please hit that like button, slap the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So we are on day 10, I believe, of the 12 days of Christmas. We are getting so close to ending this. And so to kind of help me a bit, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to be doing two separate eye looks again, like I did with the red and the green, or the red and the blue. But I'm only going to show you one tutorial in this video, and then Monday on Christmas Eve, you'll get a second eye tutorial. That way I have the weekend off from filming and editing and all that. And so that I can go ahead and knock two birds out with one stone. Plus it should hopefully kind of go along with each other because kind of go along with each other. Because this I am going to do a Grinch inspired eye and this I am doing a wreath. So I kind of go, it'll, 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 it'll work, it'll work, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so first things first, let's put my ears on and pull my hair out of the way. So I already applied my P. Louise and I did put a little bit above the brow. It'll make sense, I promise. So, still using the James Charles palette. We are going to start with Social Blade, which is that bright green. And this is going to go in the upper crease. And for this, I am going to use R34. Alright, so we're going to take Social Blade and we're going to stamp that into the upper lid and then blend it up to the brow bone. This is actually a very pretty green. I like it. We're gonna add a little bit more just so it's nice and pigmented. That is pretty. I really like how that green looks. Okay, so now I'm going to take R39 and we're going to jump into Daddy, which is the Dark Hunter green. And this is going to get stamped into the crease and blended up into Social Blade. But while blending, try to stay in the crease. Let it merge its way up into Social Blade on its own. Alright, now we're going to pick up the R34 again and jump back into Social Blade and just blend it right on top so that it still has that dark to light transition. Alright, now I'm going to take the blending brush from Echo Tools and we are going to take a little bit of No Beans. And we're just going to blend this into the crease just to darken it up a bit. And then just to make sure that that dark green is bright, we're going to jump back into Daddy and blend it into No Beans. Because we want to make sure these colors blend together really, really nicely. And we also want a very dark crease. So you see how that now has like a nice gradient to it where it goes really dark to light. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to take the P. Louise and we are going to cut our entire lid. Okay, not horrible. I did get a little bit too much right here, so I'm going to take a flat brush Get a little bit of daddy and no beans and try to fix that a bit. Good enough, right? We don't want perfection, we want about half perfection, so it's good. Okay, so right where we cut our crease, we are going to put B, which is this bright yellow, and that's going to go on a quarter of the lid, but not all the whole lid. If my explanation, explanation, my explanation doesn't make sense, I will show you in a minute. Pack this on. That's actually really pretty. Ooh, hello pigment. How are you doing? A 
Okay, so we're going to take a different blending brush, and that is just this one from ColourPop. We're going to jump into wig, which is that really pretty gold. So I forgot to put glitter glue because like, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I forget one of the most important aspects of using glitter? So now we're gonna go back into wig. And jumping back into B to do the inner corner. So we're gonna touch up wig a bit. Right now, I'm fixing the outer corner of the lid. So this look is not finished yet, but before I do the last part of this look, I really want to go do my foundation because it's going to be kind of hard to do what I'm wanting to do with foundation before I do my foundation. So I will be right back with my foundation on and then we'll finish this look. Okay, so now I'm just going through and putting on liquid liner and I'm using my Gerard Cosmetics liner for this. I don't know if you can actually like see that. This is a Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Liner. So this next part I am really terrified to do but I think it's gonna look cool. I really, really hope it does look as cool as I think it's going to. So I'm going to grab an eyeliner pencil first to make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm using this color, the ColourPop eyeliner pencil. So let's see, where should I start? Start right here. So I drew a very faint line right here and now I'm going to take my liquid liner and I'm going to go over that line with the liner this is actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be I will fix that little smudge I'm so like paranoid that any wrong move will mess this up Thicken up that line a little bit. Alright, so now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So I have the Vivid Bright Lighters from NYX Makeup. I have Vivid Fire, Vivid Halo, Vivid Sapphire, and Vivid Escape. And what we're going to do with these, I'm not going to use Escape. I'm going to use Sapphire, Fire, and Halo. And we're just going to add dots. So, do a dot here. And we're going to do the same thing with all the colors. That actually looks really cute. Ah! Okay, so we're not done yet because I'm going to take the Vivid Fire and we're just going to make a little ball. And then we're going to take the liner. Hopefully this works. We're gonna outline. And then add a little hook. I don't like how that looks, so I'm gonna take the red and try to fix that. Make it a little bit more rounded like we had originally had it. So it is almost looking like an apple. I had really wanted it to look like a Christmas ornament. So now I'm going to use the Vivid Lights Halo. I'm gonna add like a little bit of a, sh like a light sheen on it. And then using Escape, I'm gonna 
fix the hook so it looks like more of an ornament. I think it looks okay, right? Okay. So we're going to take this flat angled brush, this flat brush, this is from Storybook Cosmetics, and we're going to blend a little bit of Daddy and Social Blade underneath the eyes. And then we're also going to dip into B and put this right in the middle under the eye. And then I'm going to add some eyeliner and for this I'm going to use Overboard by ColourPop. And now for a mascara and for this I'm going to be using an Ulta Beauty mascara just because I misplaced my Kush mascara. I have no idea where it went. And for a little bit of inner corner pop on this eye, let's put a little bit of... So for a little bit of inner corner pop, I'm going to take face, and we're just going to pop that into the inner corner. All right, and that is it for the Grinch eye. So yeah, this is the finished look, and I'm honestly in love with how it looks. Like, that is pretty. I'm impressed with how this turned out. I wish I had a white to put on these so it looked like they're glowing, but it looks fine. It looks fine. <laughs> I've never done something like that before, so this was kind of cool to mess with. I'm impressed with the Vivid Liners from NYX. I was really worried. I'm honestly probably going to collect all the shades. So comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this Grinch look. Did you like it? Would you do it? So what is your guys' opinion? Do you like doing the one eye per video and then jumping and doing the other eye in the next video? What do you think? I'm sorry, it was just my way of figuring out how to turn out 12 videos. <laughs> so if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way You'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I'm gonna get going. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you the next one. Love you, bye.